Right from the early ages of human civilization, agriculture has been the primary occupation of mankind. To feed the exploding population of the country, it is necessary to increase the area under cultivation, increase yield per hectare, and speed up agricultural operations. Of the many important agricultural operations, harvesting is a very crucial one. Till recently, harvesting of crops was being done manually. Mechanized harvesting came to India a few years ago and has taken roots at least in some parts of the country. This was inevitable in view of shortage of manpower. Wastage and spillage. Pilferage. Time consumed. Drying and cleaning of crops. Difficulty in harvesting different crops and their characteristics. And natural calamities. An elegant and economical solution to harvesting problems was the development of the combined harvester. A combined harvester is a versatile machine designed to perform a variety of operations such as cutting, threshing, cleaning, transportation and storage which are done in quick succession and with great ease. The farmers can carry the grains collected directly to market after harvesting and thus have the advantage of quick returns for their labor. The advantages of using a harvester combine are many like saving in time, minimum wastage and spillage, less chances of pilferage, safety against natural calamities, and ease of adjustment to crop variety and characteristics. With a harvester combine, one hectare of wheat crop can be harvested in a ready-to-market condition in just one hour with only one operator. Manually, eight persons have to work for two days for cutting alone. Crop collection, transportation, threshing and cleaning take much more additional time. Studies have indicated that the maximum wastage of grains in harvester combine operations is only 1.5%. Compared to about 10% wastage at various stages in manual operations.
Since all operations of cutting, threshing, cleaning and storage are done in quick succession by the harvester, there is no need for long storage of crop or grain. Hence, the chances of pilferage are very much reduced. Risk due to natural calamities like unprecedented rains, hailstorms, floods, fire and so on is considerably reduced since the harvester is able to do the whole operation in very little time. In addition to the main crops of wheat and paddy, other crops like gram, sunflower, mustard, safflower, etc. can also be handled easily in different conditions by the harvester. Thus, for quick operations, minimum handling and maximum output, a combined harvester is the answer. Let us take a look at the parts of a combined harvester. The machine has basically two parts, cutter assembly and harvester. The cutter assembly can be placed on a trailer and attached to the harvester for transportation. The cutter assembly is mounted on the harvester as shown for harvesting operations. The cutter bar consists of cutter blades, reel and conveyor worm. The cutter blades positioned on the central shaft of the cutter bar consist of sets of stationary and moving blades. The oscillatory motion of the moving blades enables cutting of crops by scissor action. The reel assembly consists of reel and tines. It revolves about the central shaft, guiding the crop to the cutter blades. The left and right segments of the conveyor worm move the cut crop to the center. The eccentrically driven prong assembly carries the crop to the inclined feeder conveyor. The feeder conveyor moves the cut crop to the thresher. A stone trap is provided before the thresher to remove any stones in the cut crop. The harvester unit does the threshing, cleaning and grain collection. A drum is positioned above a concave assembly in the thresher unit. The 
drum rotates at a very high speed. Thus, the entering crop is threshed in this unit. Here, the crop is separated into a mixture of grains mixed with chaff and small straws and long straws. The guide drum guides the long straws to the straw walker assembly, from where these are exhausted off. The mixture of grains, chaff and small straws passes through the concave and falls into the stepped floor assembly. Due to its vibratory movement, the mixture is guided to an adjustable sieve for screening. The screened mixture falls on the lower sieve, which could be adjustable or fixed. Here, the grains are fully cleaned by the air current provided by a blower and vibrations of the sieve. Pure grains fall on the auger casing. From here, the grains are carried through a grain elevator to the grain tank feeding auger. Thus, cleaned grains are stored in the grain tank. Any unthreshed grains remaining in the mixture are screened through a short straw seed. These are made to fall into an ear auger casing. From here, these unthreshed grains are guided by the ear auger to the threshing area by the feedback auger for re-threshing. A glazed window enables the operator to see if the grain tank is full. When the tank is full, the operator can give a signal to the trolley operator. The grains are then discharged into the trolley through a discharge tube by operating the grain discharge auger at the bottom of the grain tank. There are various controls provided on the operator's platform so that the operator has an easy approach facilitating quick operations. The different functional controls provided are hand wheel and clutch lever for concave adjustment, thresher clutch lever, cutter clutch lever, grain discharge lever. The other control levers provided are engine accelerator control lever, reel height control lever, cutter bar height control lever, and high low speed lever to control the ground speed of the machine. A hand crank lever is provided to increase or decrease the RPM of the threshing drum mechanically. The engine's top lever helps in stopping the engine as required. In addition to the above controls, the machine has all the controls that are available on any other automobile. For harvesting around corners, one complete run around the field is made first. At each of the corners, a little reversing and a forward turn will ensure maximum harvesting by rounding the corners. Once this is done at all the corners, further reversing of the harvester is not required. For optimum operations, 
the harvesting plan is made according to different sizes and shapes of fields. There have been cases of fatal accidents due to carelessness in operations. Adequate safety precautions should be taken to avoid such accidents. Some of the important points to be kept in mind while operating a harvester combine are the combine must be operated only by a trained mechanic. Do not park or repair the combine under overhead high tension electric lines. Do not operate the machine parallel to the high tension lines. Always operate it at right angles to such cables. The ladder should be folded up while harvesting and transporting. Do not try to climb on the harvester while it is in motion. Do not touch any moving component. Never put your hands or legs inside the grain tank while the machine is moving. Sound the horn before starting and reversing the combine. Don't smoke or consume any intoxicant while operating the combine. You have seen that the harvester combine is a very versatile machine which performs multiple functions with great ease. Let us hear the views of people who have used these machines. I went in for combine harvesting because labor is not available easily and is expensive. The combine is much faster. The field gets ready for the next crop early. Nowadays, risk of fire from natural causes or from enemies is greater and the combine reduces this risk. Twenty years back, no labor came to our fields from neighboring states. We used to harvest the field manually ourselves. Collecting, transporting and threshing was done manually and with the help of animals. To collect 10 quintals of grain needed about five days at that time. With a combine, the same work is completed in just 25 minutes. Harvester combines have caught the imagination of farmers and have benefited them considerably. More and more farmers are taking to mechanized harvesting because of its many advantages.